Welcome to Electron Online and another amazing discovery based upon studying the cosmic background radiation and in our attempt to understand what the Big Bang was and how the universe started. So we had sent COBE, the satellite, up into space in 1989 to study the cosmic background radiation very carefully and from that we got a very accurate reading for the wavelength of the radiation in space. The radiation was equal to 1.064 millimeters in length associated with a temperature of the universe about 2.74 Kelvin, 2.74 degrees above absolute zero. But when we studied the background radiation even more carefully, what we began to see was there a slight change in the wavelength and the frequency of the radiation depending upon which part of space we looked at. When we send the, the COBE space telescope, when we started looking in the direction of the constellation Leo, we found that the wavelengths were slightly shorter, meaning higher energy, therefore slightly warmer universe. And when we looked towards the constellation Aquarius, we began to see a longer wavelength associated with a slightly cooler temperature. There was a slight difference between them. What we found was that looking in one direction, the, the difference between the wavelength, so the change in the wavelength towards the original wavelength, was a change of 0.124%. A very small change, but nevertheless it was there. And we looked in the other direction, we saw the same change in the opposite direction. Now we knew from looking at redshift and, and, uh, and blue shift of light, we knew that anything that shifted from its normal frequency is associated with a velocity. And the equation here is equal to C times the ratio of the original wavelength and the change of the wavelength. So in this case, C being the speed of light, so this is equal to 300,000 kilometers per second, which is the speed of light. And if we then multiply that times this ratio, and we use the cosmic background radiation shift, and we put in 0.124% and calculate that, this ended up being a, a velocity of 371 kilometers per second. So what did that mean? What did that imply? Well, the radiation is so unique, so uniform throughout the entire universe, that if you're moving in a direction, in one direction, then you would see the radiation shifted. If you move in the opposite direction, you will see the radiation shifted again, but in the opposite direction. Which means, if the radiation doesn't look the same by looking in the opposite directions of the universe, that means that the Earth must be moving at some velocity relative to that radiation. And that's exactly what happens. And it turns out that if we look in the direction of Leo, and we see shorter wavelengths, that means shorter wavelengths means it blue shifted, and blue shifted means that we're moving towards that direction, blue shifted, which means that the Earth is moving towards the constellation Leo at 371 kilometers per second. And when we look at Aquarius, we are red shifted there. That means we're moving away from the constellation Aquarius at a speed of 371 kilometers per second. So, the radiation in the universe, the cosmic background radiation in the universe, is so uniform that we're actually able to, to figure out and calculate the speed of the Earth through the universe relative to cosmic background radiation. And that speed happens to be 371 kilometers per second. Absolutely amazing. Again, the fact that this radiation is so incredibly uniform, that means when we go back 13.8 billion years, because 13.8 billion years have passed since that radiation first existed in a very small, dense universe, very hot, small, dense universe, that radiation back then must have been so uniform, so exactly the same throughout the entire universe, however small it was, that since it's been shifted and stretched over a period of 13.8 billion years, it has barely changed in size relative to each other. So 13.8 billion years of stretching that, that, that radiation, we can then imagine at the very beginning of the universe how uniform that radiation must have been. Absolutely phenomenal. How did that happen? No idea. But we do know that it must have been extremely uniform and extremely hot at the beginning of the universe, such that we can now detect small changes in speed of the Earth relative to the radiation of 371 kilometers per second. Absolutely amazing. And the more we discover like that, the more we're astounded of how the universe started and what the Big Bang really was. You want to know more? Stay tuned for the next video and you'll see.